Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to do a quick tip in Fusion 360 about how to do a hull pattern on a cone shape. This was a comment by Andres Aka. I hope I got your name right, Andres. Um, specifically on the Fusion 360 hole video that I did about how, how can I do a hole pattern on a solid cone shape? That's the information we have. That's the question. So taking your question very, very specifically, uh, here are a couple of methods, Andres, that I think that you could accomplish uh, to do a hole pattern on a solid cone shape. Depending on what your outcome might be, you have you have a couple of different options here. What my hope is, is that someone is someone else is going to watch this who knows Fusion 360 like the back of their hand, and they're going to give you another a, another method, a way easier one. That's my hope here. So here are the two ways that I think we can do it. So since you commented on the whole video, let's start with there. So we've got our solid cone modeled in here. Uh, so if we come up here to the top and we and we use select the whole feature, and so we, we, we can do a single hole placement or you can do from a sketch. Now we've got a cone shape. You can't sketch on a cone shape, right? It's round. You need a, you need a plane. You just, you need a 2d sketch plane. In this case, we don't have it. So we're just going to start with a single hole right there on that face. I'm going to go ahead and reference that hole from the bottom of the cone. All right. So I'm going to say, um, two inches from the bottom. Sorry, I'm working in Imperial tonight. You guys can work out the, the metric side of it. It doesn't really matter uh, for tonight's video. But I'm doing a, a diameter of a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch deep. And I'm going to hit OK here. So I can't really pattern from there. The way now that we need to pattern, now that we have our hole, is go to Create, Pattern, and a Circular Pattern in this case. So we want to make sure Type here is Circular. We want to make sure Object Type is Features because we're going to we're going to pattern our whole feature that we just made. Then we're going to select the axis. So in this case, I'm going to select the, the bottom of the cone, and it is now going to drop those holes around uh, around that spot of our first feature, around the circumference of the cone, in, that, in this case. Now, you can also come up and down as far as the number of holes that you want to do. So let's do six in this case. Uh, you can adjust the distribution. You can do all the normal things you can do in a circular pattern <clears throat> and hit OK. So now I have a cone pattern, I'm sorry, a hole pattern around the shape of this cone. Now, if you want to go another row up <clears throat> and you want to do so, uh, a hole pattern a bit higher, you just repeat the process. So if we use the hole pattern again, we're going to drop a cone or a hole right there on this face. I'm going to go ahead and reference it from the bottom. I'm going to say this time it's four inches up. I'm going to leave everything else the same as far as the dimensions of the hole. Hit OK. Create. Pattern. Circular. Right? features, everything's the same. We're going to select that feature in this case. Come on. And we're going to select the bottom of the cone again as our axis. And I'm going to leave it at three at that point. So there we go. We have a pattern of holes around a solid cone. Now, when you're doing this method, here is what you need to make sure that you are remembering is that if we go ahead. Uh, so if we rotate this way, you can see that since we use the hole feature and we put it on the face of the cone, the, the angle of attack of that hole is essentially perpendicular uh, to the edge of your cone, right? To that face that we selected on your cone shape. So it is coming in at that angle. It is not going to be perpendicular to a, a, a construction plane or anything like that. It's going to be perpendicular to the edge of your cone. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is the method that you want to use. Now, the other way that you can do this uh, that's going to achieve a slightly different result is basically using some construction planes, some sketches, and then the pipe feature. Uh, but what this is going to do is put holes perpendicular or parallel to the bottom of your cone, right? Perpendicular to your sketch plane or parallel to the bottom of your cone. So in this case, I've got another cone shape modeled in here, and I've done a construction plane, right? Construction plane right off the bottom. I've pulled this up to some degree. Let's We can call it three inches, four inches, whatever you want to do. And then I've sketched in a circle with some lines. So that's this one right here. So you can see I've sketched this in about an inch and a half up from the bottom and I've modeled in a circle and then some lines going around. And so I'm going to use the pipe feature in this case to go ahead and make the holes in the cone. So if we go to create, oops, create and pipe. Now we can select a path. In this case, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one. Now it's considering this all one path, right? Because the lines are actually connected here in the middle. So it is one path. Your distance here is one. Now that's not one inch, it's not one millimeter, it is one distance of that whole path. So now you have to 
you probably have to get a little bit tricky if you need to be very specific about the dimensions. But right here, I'm saying I want one whole path to be um, piped. Now, just you know, we say this is point half of that, then it's only going to do one of those lines, right? Because these lines are exactly the same distance. So in this case, I'm going to say, no, let's do one. I'm going to say the section size, which is the diameter of the hole in this case is a quarter of an inch. I'm going to make sure we say uh, it doesn't matter if it's hollow or not because we're making a cut pattern in the hole and hit OK. Now we've got those holes in here. But if we repeat the pipe and we say this path and this path and hit OK, and then we do it one more time and say pipe and this one and this one. Now, again, we have, and if we hide the sketch, a pattern of holes running around this part. The difference there being, like I said, is that they are parallel to the bottom, right? So they're running straight through or they're perpendicular to that sketch plane that we just made. So instead of at an angle, um, you know, instead of being perpendicular to the face of your cone, they're, they're perpendicular to the actual sketch plane that we made. So you want to do a row up, make another construction plane. Make one up here, a little bit higher. Do the exact same thing. Do a circle with some pipes. Use the pipe feature. This one, this one. Okay. Create a pipe. This one and this one. Hit okay. One more time. One more time. This one and this one. Hit okay. Now, if we hide that, there you go. Now you have pattern of holes and a secondary method around a solid cone. So I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, and if not, let me know and we'll figure out another way. And if you, and if someone else is watching this, and you know a better way to do it, then drop a, drop a comment and drop a link to a video, make a video of your own something, right? But uh, let me know if there's a better, a better, easier way to accomplish this than the two methods that I've shown here. So there you go. Like, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.